Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Kook here, a.k.a. The Lonely Achievement God, and today I am bringing you the counterpart to the pause glitch and re-roll of deliveries playthrough that we did. <coughs> Excuse me. In it, I had mentioned that I would be doing another video detailing another method for using the pause glitch for those of you who wanted to do so. Um, in our full playthrough, it was designed for people that we're starting the game from scratch. So if you had a brand new account, no gamer score in the game, and wanted to get to a thousand, well, 950 as soon as possible, then you could use what uh, the video playthrough to do that. But what if, say, you played the game legitimately, and you got to 31 out of 32 achievements, and have the finches and bananas, and or bananas left, and or uh, any other grouping, honestly, and still need your final grouping, and the game's RNG just never favored you. You could have tried the expert mode, and that was uh, significantly faster than going through the game legitimately, but it also is still uh, quite a bit of time, two to three hours or so per playthrough, just for the chance to see the item you are looking for. And this is where my pause glitch method and rerolling deliveries will help you out immensely. This will primarily focus on helping those who need the bananas and the finch finches because those items don't show up till year two. Um, any other grouping, as I've mentioned in the other playthroughs, if you need a different grouping and are coming here for help, uh, I will link you to another video I did that shows you the best way to get uh, any individual grouping you still need that isn't the bananas and finches. All you have to do is keep restarting the game and checking the initial 12 items. If you get, uh, as far as I'm aware, the other 12 groupings can always spawn in those first 12 items. So all you need to do is restart until, say, one of the wheels from the wheel grouping shows up in those first 12. And at that point, then you can either re-roll deliveries right off the bat to get the rest of them, or you can continue playing the game normally, hoping that the wheels spawn in. That's entirely up to you, but that method is much better for the other groupings. If you need a banana or a finch, this is the method you are going to want to use. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I did make a video for this detailing how to use the expert mode uh, specifically to get your final grouping. However... Um, if the pause glitch has not been patched out of the game, the pause glitch is significantly faster. You can get through an entire playthrough. Uh, let's say just for the sake of things, you need to go through an entire playthrough. And the tile you were looking for doesn't show up. You can do an entire playthrough in about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, <clears throat> because you aren't going to be doing anything. You are literally going to be sitting around waiting for the tile to show up. You can skip all of the phases uh, immediately and get to the end of the game. And if you don't get the tile you need, you can immediately restart and try again. It is significantly faster than uh, any of the other uh, methods. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to do that. And on the off chance uh, Banana or Finch will, shows up, I will show you how to get the Banana or the Finch. Uh, groupings by re-rolling when they do. So hopefully a banana or a finch shows up. If it does not, then at the end of the playthrough I will just uh, pretend that one shows up and, and uh, show you exactly how I would go about doing uh, m the re-rolls at the end. Okay, so I will uh, go ahead and get started here. We're gonna pick uh, I'm not going to get rid of slot 1. I will be doing this in slot 2, which is uh, a little bit inconvenient. I do recommend doing this in slot 1 if you do, because the pause glitch uh, is a little bit easier to do. If you know how to do the pause glitch, then you know what I'm talking about. But basically, you'll be having to keep scrolling down to the slot if you don't use slot 1. So... But I'm going to use slot 2 because I don't want to get rid of my slot 1 uh, file yet. <clears throat> I don't have any friends. We're going to play single player. Um, uh, once again, this doesn't really matter. I do recommend doing normal mode. If you choose expert mode, 
put the sorting time to normal, put the stock takes to normal, and ignore the order slips because it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can do either one. If you do normal, you just have to skip the tutorial when you get in. So what we're going to do right off the bat is we are just going to skip ahead. We're not going to do anything with the deliveries until we get to the end of the first quarter. Um, and even then, we aren't really going to be doing much with this, but uh, we're going to skip ahead this first year in its entirety because we are trying to do this to get the bananas and finches that don't show up until the end of the first year. So we are going to be using the pause glitch to do that. It'll probably take us five minutes, if that, uh, with me explaining what we're doing. So go ahead. Let's go into the game. When you uh, get into the game, pause it. As you see, the bottom right corner, it says game saved. When you get into the beginning of a delivery phase, you have to wait for a truck to deliver all of your items. If you pause the game while the truck is delivering, the delivery ends immediately. Uh, the truck disappears, all 30 items, in this case it's 20 because it's the first delivery, but all 30 items immediately drop off into the warehouse. Uh, and if you do that with a second delivery, it just push pushes the first delivery further into the warehouse. But you need to do that because doing so immediately allows you to skip the delivery phase and move on to the service phase. Uh, everyone's pretty much aware of this method. Uh, after this is where my uh, discovery of the pause glitch, which as I said I believe is unique to my, my channel, no one else has discovered this yet. It, the pause glitch is what differs my methods from all of the other ones on the internet because you cannot skip the service phase in the game uh, playing it normally. No matter what you do, you have to sit through the service phase. Um, the other methods for doing this suggest using expert mode and turning it to 25% less because the service phase will drop from a minute 30 seconds to a minute and 7 seconds. Because we are skipping the phase, it does not matter what difficulty we were on. So, we're going ahead, going to go ahead and skip it. Tell them you're ready. Make sure that you are in the dotted box outside of the time clock. This will not work if you are not. Get in that box. Pause the game again. Make sure it says in the bottom right corner, game saved. You need that uh, on the off chance. Uh, well, on the off chance something screws up, but also because you're just going to be quitting out of the game and coming back in very quickly, and that creates the save point to do so. You are now going to exit to the menu. Uh, if you are in save slot 1, you can just spam the A button to get back in. Otherwise, you need to select your save slot and then spam the A button to get back in. Tell them you're ready. Hit A one more time when you get back in here. Even though the time clock is not active, Watch what happens when I hit A. The phase ends. CJ is disappointed. We get three stars. I'm not going to go over all of this too much. The three stars are given for completing the phase within a certain time limit. And since we skip the phase immediately once the phase starts, we will always get those three stars. Uh, if you waited like a minute, in a ha uh, just over a minute, stars would start falling off. But we're never going to be that far, so you don't need to worry about that. CJ is disappointed. Go ahead and skip that. You will get to the manifest. We are not worried about the manifest at this point. Head back to work. And press start at the beginning of the delivery phase. This will drop the delivery and allow us to immediately move off the time clock box back on and skip it. You have to move off for some reason. I don't know why the game... Uh, is programmed that way, but you, you can't just sit there. You have to move off the time clock and then back on for, for this to work at that point. So, we'll do the same thing. Once the service phase starts, make sure you're in the time clock box, pause the game, make sure the game saves, exit to the menu, go to your save slot, spam the A button all the way through, and get your three stars and move to the next uh, month. Once again, we will get deliveries that we don't care about. When we get back in the game, pause it to drop the delivery and do the same thing. Get back into the time clock, pause it, go to the main menu, spam the A button to get back in, and move ahead. As you can see, this moves very quickly once you get the hang of it. 
we are going to purchase the rotate upgrade, although um, if you don't get the block you are looking for, this won't matter. But this is probably the only upgrade you really need to worry about this playthrough. You can get the strength ones and the pillar ones if you really want, but you're probably not going to need them. So, head back to work, press start to get the stock take delivery done, move on and off of the time slot box, and do the same thing that we have been doing. Pause the game, choose the save slot, pop back in, spam the A button, and to get your three stars. I am no longer going to be explaining that process to you. Uh, because you'll get very sick of it. I am now just going to do this until the end of the year. And see, that's why... That's why the first slot is more useful. I am used to doing it on the first slot, and I almost loaded up a different game. So as uh, I have explained... You, well, you would get an achievement there, but at this point, you're probably not new doing this to get achievements, so... Other than the last grouping you need. But as I was saying, this isn't really useful for anyone who needs any other grouping besides the... Uh, finches and bananas. I have a video that shows you a, an easier way to focus on that. As you can see, our deliveries are backing up. That is what we want. If we were to sit here and spend time trying to sort all of these deliveries, we would spend far too long on it. Sorry about that. As I said, you don't necessarily need to purchase any other upgrades, but you can. Uh, I will probably work all the way through to get speedy, and then after that I won't really worry about it. On the off chance uh, you never get the tile you are looking for, you're not going to be doing anything else this playthrough. The only reason you need the upgrades is if you get the tile you need, you will have to sort all of these deliveries out of the way. But as I said, if your tile never shows up, then that's not something you need to worry about. So That's why this playthrough can take you 15 to 20 minutes, because if the tile does not show up, you just spam to the end of the game in relic well, very quickly. Hmm. So we have made it to year two, ladies and gents. And so now, what I'm going to do is, as I said, I'm going to pretend that we are uh, looking for a banana or a finch. If either one of those shows up, I will use it as my object lesson. If we don't get either of them by the last year, then I will just go ahead and, uh, you know, pretend and, and do a lesson for you. Because um, it just makes no sense to... to cheat to keep trying to go through the entire game just to get the tile to make the example we can we can make do with others but i do want to try and it only take us about another 10 minutes uh to get there and i did it again Probably going to happen a few times. I have gotten used to using slot one. Oh, there is no banana and no finch. Up to 48 items. No banana or finch. Yeah, 
now I'm just gonna bust through this as quickly as possible without, probably without any commentary until Banana or Finch shows up, because you'll get sick of me very quickly. So if, if we do not get a Banana or Finch, you will probably not hear from me again until 2001. Just jumping in here to say, as I said before, I'm going to get speedy. On the off chance, we do have to sort the columns. I prefer the little speed boost, and I end up sorting by groups of six anyways, so the carry limit doesn't mean anything to me. But uh, we will, if you want to, in another couple of quarters, you will be able to afford the other upgrade anyways, so it's not really a big deal. For this playthrough, we don't need to worry about the pillars at all, so you'll have plenty of stars to go around. Okay, I will interject here because at this point you might be wondering why why is this idiot showing us all of this? Mostly because I want you guys to see what you might have to go through. Um, I could just sit here and say, okay, we're gonna disappear and I'll come back when I get a banana or a finch and then show you what I got. Or, you know, I could just pretend I got an example right here to show off to you. And that, that would probably be sufficient. But I do want to give you guys an idea of what you are going to be doing if this doesn't work out for you on your first playthrough. You know, you're going to be sitting here doing this potentially for hours, I mean, if you have my kind of luck, but, uh... So I wanted to give you this entire video. It shouldn't take more than 30 to 40 minutes anyways. It's not a big deal, and it's going to be an entire playthrough. And I'm not going to worry about the pillars. We are into the third year already. Again, not going to worry about any upgrades. have a finch. This is not a drill. We have a finch. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will be showing you how to re-roll to get your finches, hopefully, very quickly. Um, I have done this a couple of times in other playthroughs, but I will be showing you exactly what you need to do. So, this is going to be a time-consuming process from here on out. So, 
head back into the warehouse. What you need to do is you can you might as well just pause the game. You're not going to have enough time to move your entire uh, a 30 item grouping out of the way before the delivery drops off. So just pause the game, get the delivery done. And what you are going to do is spend this next delivery phase making room for, you know, two to three deliveries to show up. So that's about 18 rows. This is a little time consuming, but for those of you who know, this is significantly less terrible than trying to get these legitimately like I did. Much better than spending 50 hours trying to, uh, trying and failing to get your finches to show up, which is what I did. So, every single time I have done this, it has worked for me. Um, at this point, I'm six for six. So, I don't want to say it is 100% guaranteed, because I have no idea. However, I, when, every time I have tested this, uh, it has worked for me. So, and by that I mean... Uh, this specific strategy. So, normally, um, I think we've cleared enough room here, but normally, when you get that manifest, the very next delivery is guaranteed to have the four new items from the manifest in it. The problem is, we just had a delivery that had a finch in it, but was unable to be dropped off. So, now we made room for our next deliveries and uh, unfortunately the next one is going to be a stock take so we'll have to skip ahead two deliveries here but every single time I've tested this and had an item and made room the next manifest delivery has always had that item in it uh, I don't know if that is guaranteed uh, but it has worked for me every time and we'll see if it does again uh, all I can do is show you what has happened to me and tell you what has happened to me so that you can use that information however it may work for you. So we are going to go ahead and skip the rest of the delivery phase. We are going to skip the service phase. And that will get us our stock take delivery. Uh, again, I have no use for any upgrades at this point, so, you know, do whatever you want. Skip the delivery, press A, skip the service phase, and we are going to get another manifest. Now, as I have said, we get our manifest delivery, and every single time I have done this, I have, in this case, received the finch on this delivery. So, let's go see if that is the case. I do not see one. Okay. So, it is not guaranteed, which is actually good. So now, what you have to do is keep sorting your deliveries. You have to keep making room for uh, the subsequent deliveries to come in, because you are now going to have to wait until that next, that finch shows up. Because if a, that finch never shows up into your warehouse, you have absolutely no ability to, uh, to complete the grouping for the achievement. You have to have it as a physical block in the warehouse, not just on the manifest list. So... And 
this could end up very bad for us if this doesn't work out well, but we shall see. So we're gonna skip the rest of the delivery phase, skip the service phase again. Run down to the delivery. And the finch is in here this time. See, every single delivery uh, with a manifest has 30 items that come in. Four of them are guaranteed to be the item... Uh, the items from the manifest, one of each. Those are guaranteed. The other 26 have a random chance to be uh, any of the items you already have in your warehouse. I apologize. So what you need to do is just keep running through deliveries if until you get that finch to show up. So we've gotten that finch. Now we are set to continue re-rolling our deliveries to get the other finches. And you will have to keep an eye on your deliveries, making sure you have enough room for the next one to come in. Gonna move a couple more over here. And then we'll head up. So, two reroll deliveries. Although, again, we are going to be doing a stock take next, so it will not matter. Um, stock takes, as you can see, we're in September. So, in January, April, July, and October, so the month months to start the quarters you always start with a stock take delivery just so you are aware that's how i know that the next one is going to be a stock take so we'll skip we'll get the stock take we will skip that and not worrying about sorting it at the moment once again we are not going to worry about any upgrades okay so In order to re-roll deliveries, we're going to need to pause the game. Um, so what you're going to do is get in, get back to this menu. Once you're ready, tell the game that you're ready, and then complete the pause glitch. Um, when you complete the pause glitch, the window closes and the camera pans over to the window. Once the camera pans back to Wilmot, you want to pause the game. So I'll show you here. I'm ready. I hit A to do the glitch. The camera pans to the window. It has panned back to Wilmot. We pause the game. Make sure you see the game saved in the bottom right. You are going to be quitting out of the game potentially and reloading. So you need to make sure that the game saved notification pops up. Once you have the game saved, instead of exiting to the menu, just resume the game again. Because now the manifest will show up. And it will have four other items. We didn't even need to re-roll. We got a second Finch, Finch regardless. Perfect. So well, that's a waste. I did all that setup for nothing. So we are running out of room here, though. So we want to make sure that we continue sorting. We need to make room for at least three more deliveries.
is going to finish this pile off at, at this point. On the off chance something goes wrong, it's best to have more room. So, in a perfect world, we will be done with the next three deliveries, including the stock take, but the world isn't always perfect, so. Oh, wait, did I, I, I did not sort my finch out of there, did I? Okay. We'll get our finch up here. I'm actually going to get rid of that, just so I have the finches by themselves. And we will continue on here. We are once again going to do the pause glitch. Once you get back in here again, hit I'm ready, press A to end the phase, and when the camera pans back to Wilmot, pause the game. Make sure it says game saved there in the bottom right and resume. And once again, open up the items. This time we did not get a finch. So we are going to use the guide button. Go over to Wilmot's warehouse, press start, and then scroll down to quit and hit A. Immediately hit A again to relaunch the game. Choose your profile. And the game will relaunch. Each reroll will take you approximately 30 seconds on a Series X. Uh, I don't have the other consoles to test how long it takes. But the game loads up fairly quickly. You go back to your save slot, wherever it is, and load it back up. You will come back into the game right before the manifest pops in, and you will get different items. Now, um, as I have said with every single instance, if you don't get the items you want, do the guide button again and repeat the process. I'm sorry I did that really quick because I got into a different thought, but you will see see me doing it again here. Um, I don't remember what my other thought was now. <laughs> so there's a couple things to watch for. What you want to do is watch the items that come in, number one, because you'll probably notice quite a few of them repeat. Uh, that is because the game does not equally draw from all 500 items at the same uh, percentage. Uh, I don't exactly know how it draws, but I do know that it is not drawing the same from this the all 500 all of the time, or if it is, it is heavily weighted to different groups. Um, I I am pretty sure that I can say this confidently, that all of the, uh, the game is going to weight items that are related to groups you already have in your warehouse. So we already have a finch, we got that second finch almost right away. Um, and stuff like that in my, there's our third finch. So, in my other playthrough, um, we, the other pause glitch playthrough that I have uploaded, we got like all 16 of the hardware items throughout the playthrough. And I think we had like 14 of them in the first 85, you know, 85 to 90 items, which is an insane percent. There is no way that that should happen uh, if we're pulling uh, from all 500 at the same rate. So there's a pretty good chance that the game has either a predetermined tile list that it's pulling from, or it is weighted towards the items that you already have in your group, which is why uh, restarting the game until you get one of the other groupings for the other 20 groupings is a pretty good idea, because the game is more likely to give you items that you already have in groups. So, if you start the game with a hardware item, you are, are already set up to get more of the hardware items than the other items. Now, the game is RNG, that is not necessarily 100% true all of the time, but as you can see, we didn't get a finch for a while, and within, you know, six deliveries with rerolls, we got three of them now. So we are going to go ahead and continue on. Uh, go 
down and grab the other finch. We have room for two more deliveries, so I'm not going to worry about sorting anything. We'll drop him off with his finch friends and skip ahead. Our next phase is another stop take, so we are just going to skip that again. No sense in doing any power-ups or anything else. Skip the delivery and continue on. Pause the game here. And we are going to try to re-roll a final finch. Maybe I should name the video that. Final finches. Yeah, it's okay. And so that's what you're going to do. Uh, you would do the same thing for bananas. Um, don't be discouraged if it takes you 20 to 30 times to, and you still haven't gotten your last one. Uh, if you watch the expert mode playthrough that I did, the or expert mode, the other pods glitch playthrough that I did. You will notice that the very last banana took us an extremely long time. Um, I also have videos of this working within 15 rerolls for all three. Uh, one of the other lessons I did with the finches got me all three of them within 15 rerolls. So, ah, skipped ahead. If you do do that, make sure you quit out of the game immediately. The game, uh, Auto saves quite regularly, and I think it auto saves when the delivery is finished. So uh, don't mess around too much if you do accidentally uh, press A to return to work after the manifest. Okay, still not getting a finch. I've been doing a lot of guides on this, and I initially had tried to decided I was going to try to catalog all 500 items, but uh, like two videos ago, I found an item that I don't think I had ever had before, and it would be really frustrating to get to like 4.99 and still not have, you know, the the last item I need for my catalog. I don't intend what I'm doing on these these videos and the website I'm building to be a full game walkthrough. It is designed to be an achievement walkthrough. So there will be things in the games that I don't cover because they're not necessary to achievements, although I don't think that really applies in this game. But I'm not going to be going in depth into uh, you know, everything about every game I cover because not everything is necessary for achievements. And as you can see, sometimes this can be a bit finicky as far as giving you the items you want. It's like it doesn't realize we can force it to do what we want, and it's decided to resist as much as possible. As you can see, we have quite a few of the items repeating. And in, in a way, I think that's part of the reason why you don't want to push this off too much. Uh, you know, one or two deliveries passed 
probably isn't too bad. But the further you get into the game, the more items it will give you that it could be pulling deliveries from. So it might even lessen your chances of getting your final item if you keep moving throughout the game before you attempt to re-roll. You should uh, always attempt to do it as quickly as possible. Because, say, for example, you didn't get a hardware item until, like, item 170, and then you're like, I need to re-roll. Well, there's 17 hardware items, well, 16 other ones, I think, that the game might try to be pulling from to give you instead of the final finch, finches that you need or bananas you need. I don't know how the game prioritized that. Uh, all I have is speculation based on, you know, at this point is probably 160 playthroughs of the game. Which is a lot, but that doesn't necessarily mean I've experienced enough to be able to piece that together, you know? Come on, Finch. I have recommended in uh, some playthroughs to uh, move a, a month or two forward and retry it on a second delivery. I don't actually think that affects anything. Um, but in some cases, if you are getting super frustrated and feel like nothing is... Uh, benefiting you moving forward to the next uh, manifest delivery may be the best idea. If nothing else, for your san sanity, uh, you know. I will admit, it doesn't always work right away, but it is significantly less time-consuming than the alternative, although it is slightly more boring. Um, however, you know, the expert mode really isn't any different than this. Um, the only difference with using this method and the expert mode method is that you can't skip the service phase in the expert mode without using the pause glitch. So, um, oh, I did it again. Hopefully it didn't save on us, although it wouldn't be terrible if we had to go forward. But...
Sorry, guys, I muted my mic and forgot about it, but I just went ahead and moved on for uh, another phase. Again, I don't know that it does anything, but it makes me feel like I did something. Um, but I wouldn't do this too much. Again, you don't want to get too many new items in the warehouse because it might uh, add more options for the game to deliver instead of the tile you need. So... And it looks like it's going to be mean to me again. And like yesterday and the day before, I had such great luck with my proof of concepts. As I said, the I got the finches and uh, like 16 re-rolls, and then I went ahead and was recording um, a pause glitch playthrough that I uh, lost a lot of the footage for, but I had all of the bananas within 15 rerolls as well. And then of course if you've watched my the pause glitch that I uh, playthrough that I uploaded this exact thing happened to us there too. Um, we got the second and third ones relatively quick but that fourth one just would not come in. So it's actually a good mix of uh, Good proof of concept and bad proof of concept, but I am here to provide all of the good and bad proof. No sense misrepresenting what I'm selling you. You know, this, this could be a super effective method for you, and it will be more effective than any of the methods you've tried probably so far. I know, because I've also tried the methods you've probably tried so far, and they didn't work for me. And that's how I wound up, wound up stumbling upon this pause glitch method and re-rolling deliveries, so... And just, re just keep repeating to yourself that no matter how many times this takes, it is much better than the alternative. Uh, when I discovered this method, uh, I finished off my first playthrough, and then I, I tested it on a brand new account to see how quickly I could get to a thousand doing this. Um, and what ended up happening is in like playthrough five, I had three bananas, and I was like, I tried re-rolling for a little bit, uh, far less probably than we've done so far here. And I was just like, no, nah, it's not worth it. I want to try to get the other achievements. I'm sure I'll get another banana in the other playthroughs. So I gave up and finished the playthrough. Didn't get my bananas. Um, and there was, I went 20 more playthroughs never seeing a banana again. Ah, oh, shoot. I skipped ahead. That means we need to sort. I was too busy telling my story instead of paying attention. But I went another 20 playthroughs uh, without seeing a single banana to even attempt to re-roll. Um, so don't push it off like I did. Like if this ever happens to you uh, in any of your, you know, your normal playthroughs,
don't do what I did and think, ah, oh, it'll, it'll just show up again. Stop everything. Stop everything and get re-roll until you get your regroupings. Okay, that's enough for another delivery. So. Come on, game, I only have half an hour before I have to leave. <laughs> I was not expecting this to... to go on for this long. We're already at 52 minutes. Uh, I was expecting this to be like a 30-minute playthrough. There it is. There's our final finch. Took a while, but we did get it. Okay. So... That would be it. If the finches were the achievement you needed, or, it, you know, replace the finches with the bananas, you would be done. That would, uh, on this next delivery here. Grab your finch. Run it over. achievement. So, once again, proof of concept took a little bit longer than I was hoping, but it did prove that it eventually will come through for you. Um, I'm not even going to bother finishing the rest of this playthrough. Uh, because we, we did exactly what I said I was going to, show you how to get the last grouping that you need. The only two differences would be, if nothing ever came in, you would just go through until the game is over and finish the game. Um, there is one thing I will mention that I, since we're not going to the final year, I'm not going to, uh, be showing off to you. So, that first delivery in, uh, or, well, it'd be the second delivery in 2001, the February, February of 2001 delivery. If you do not have a finch or a banana in, uh, before that delivery, I would restart. You only have... Well, including that delivery, you only have six deliveries in 2001. And six deliveries is cutting it very close. As you noticed, I think we covered seven total because of my mistakes. Um, six is the earliest or latest I would give. I don't want you to try to do this over the course of four deliveries or five. You... You have to not only get the first finch to show up in your warehouse, but you also have to then re-roll until the second, third, and fourth finches show up. So if you do not have the finch or the banana by the end of year five, so the end of 2000, I would recommend just restarting and going through the first year again, and then, and then working from there, just like we did throughout this playthrough. Um, it's not really worth taking that risk, and you're running out of time, uh, it would really suck for you to, for example, re-roll and get your three finches, uh, the last three finches, but have never received a delivery with the first one, or, or something like that. So, I don't want to tell you to go any further than, than February's delivery if you don't have a finch or a banana yet. Um, it is worth keeping in mind as well, in relation to that, the September delivery... The September delivery is the final delivery that you can re-roll your items. Uh, that's why you don't want to go any further. Uh, the October delivery is the stock take, and you do not get a delivery in November, November and the game ends. So, the September one is the last one you can re-roll. That's why you don't want to go any further into the month because you only... Excuse me. You only have six deliveries that you can manipulate in the final year. 
So other than that, you're going to follow the playthrough just like I did. If you need your banana or a finch, then just sit by the time clock, spamming through the months until it shows up in a delivery, sort everything, uh, get the item out of one of the next deliveries, hopefully, and then you will continue on re-rolling your deliveries until the second, third, and fourth items in your group show up. That's all there is to it, ladies and gents. Even as we sit here at 56 minutes in a video, it is still significantly shorter than playing five to six hours of a regular playthrough, or even the two to three of an expert mode playthrough, and hoping that the RNG favors you. So, I hope this helps you out. I hope you don't have to sit through as much of the terrible RNG as I did. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.